Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new make sure to hit that subscribe button to see more content just like this. You can also follow me on Twitch, Instagram and on Twitter which I will leave on the screen and I will also leave a link to them in the description below. Alright so in this video I'm going to teach you guys how to add sound commands to your Twitch stream. It's an easy thing to do just follow what I'm about to show you so let's hop right onto it. Alright so the first thing you're going to want to do is download and install Streamlabs chatbot. Uh, I'll have a link in the description, but uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, just click download now. Uh, I've already done it, so I'm not gonna be doing that. So after you download and install it, it's gonna look something like this. Um, just open it up. And if you're opening this for the very first time, it's gonna ask you to log in with your Twitch account so you can go ahead and do that. And when it opens up, it's going to look something like this. You can actually just close this. And what you're going to want to do first is sign in with your Twitch account. And uh, what I'm about to show you right now, you have to do this every single time. Okay, this is not a one time thing. So uh, make sure you do this every single time. All right, so you're going to want to click here to connections. And uh, right here, you're on the Twitch bot. So uh, you're going to want to click connect. Yes. And then go to Twitch stream, connect. All right. So like I said, what you did just now, um, you have to do that every single time. Okay. So I'm going to go through it again. So click over here, click connect, and then go to Twitch streamer and click connect. Okay. Uh, so you have to do that every single time. And uh, so after you do that, oh, let me close this. After you do that, th um, you're going to have something like this. This is going to be your chat and make sure you have Streamlabs chatbot open in order for this to work, because if you don't, then it's not going to work. All right. So, uh, so after you do this, let's uh, look for a sound file. Let's go to YouTube. Um, let's look for the Nani sound effect. Okay. I already searched for this earlier. Uh, I didn't like this one. I think it was this one that I wanted. Yeah, so we're gonna go with this. Uh, you can actually, um, you can um, download this as an MP3 however you want, but as long as you have an MP3 file of the of the sound that you want, uh, it should work. But I'm gonna show you my way of doing it. You don't have to copy my way, but if you want to, you can. So I search YouTube to MP3. Uh, which one was it that I use? Uh, I think it was this one. Honestly, as long as you have an MP3 file of the sound that you want. So what I did was I right click, copy the link, and I would paste it here. And download. And be careful with these ads if you're doing this. Um, they're all fake, so don't try try to avoid all that. And show in folder. Uh, okay, I'm gonna put this in the desktop just to make it easier. Actually, you know what? Cut. I actually have a folder for these. Uh, where was it? Sound effects. All right. So just it doesn't matter where you have it on your computer. I just like to keep it organized. But you know, as long as you download it. So anyways, after you have the file here, let me show you after you have the sound effects, where, where was it? Nani. Nani? Okay. Uh, yeah. So after you do that, uh, what you're going to want to do is, uh, open up Streamlabs again and, um, go to sound files. And then there should be this plus button over here. And you're going to want to name it, uh, you can name it exclamation because that's the popular thing for commands. So exclamation Nani, or you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name mine exclamation Nani. And then, uh, here the sound file, you can actually click pick and locate wherever you have it on your computer. So in my case, it was desktop stream stuff, sound effects and Nani. 
right here so i'm gonna open that and after you do that click here where it says automatically generate command all right so do that um you can adjust the cooldown by minute or user cooldown uh, i'm just gonna keep it like this just for the sake of this tutorial but you can adjust that if you want um you can add a response i'm not gonna respond i'm not gonna add a respond but um yeah so this is the title and this is where you locate the file and after you do all that just click submit and it should be somewhere here now in one of you by the way if you're doing this for the first time you're not going to have anything here but i already had a bunch of uh sound effects and stuff so it should be right here so if we go to our console and type exclamation nani and yeah that's it that's all you have to do so let's go ahead and go to twitch right now and go to our chat channel and let's go to our chat uh this will obviously work while you're live so um yeah this is uh what you're gonna do exclamation nani and there you go that's it all right guys so that's all that you have to do to add sound commands to your twitch stream it's easy to do so guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope this was helpful and if it was make sure to give this video a like comment down below and subscribe to my channel to see more content just like this you can also follow me on twitch instagram and on twitter which i will leave on the screen somewhere i will also put a link to them in the description below so check that out as well and uh yeah guys that's it for this video i'll see you guys on the next one later